Hey, it's David Green Meadow Lawn Care, and today we're going to talk about grubs and how they damage lawns. It's terrible, but it's very, very recognizable. I come up to a property like this, I start walking around, and I feel the squish. And it's like, uh-oh, there's no root system left on this lawn. The roots are all gone. I dig down, and what do I find? I find grubs everywhere. So this is a subsurface insect. And what it does is it nips the root as it goes into the soil, basically just killing it. We want to apply a curative grub control, something that's going to stop the problem immediately. And then we've got some reseeding to do. So you've just figured out you have grub damage and you're saying to yourself, how do I fix grub damage? This looks horrible. Actually, it's not that hard to fix because the roots are dead, the grass is dead, everything's just decomposing. So it makes for a nice little seed bed and it's also very easy to manipulate. Basically you can get into this soil, start moving things around and now you put some seed down. What you've done is you've taken this organic matter or your dead lawn and you've mixed it together with the soil, plant some seed and you're off to the race. So this is a hand cultivator or a garden weasel. Um, garden weasel perfect for small grub damaged areas. Big grub damaged areas, I don't wanna be out here using this thing. I wanna get a nice piece of equipment that'll do the job or hire a professional like you. Correct. <laughs>as you can see brian made easy work of at least 500 square feet of grub damage there brian at least 500 five minutes just that easy